Hello YouTube, Blue CFL here. Happy Fire Alarm Friday. Now I'm going to be demonstrating and explaining the additional feature I have in my Simplex 2001. I configured this when I first configured the motherboard, which was when I got the panel several years ago. Let's get that door open. Now, I'm probably going to do two more system tests with this configuration. This one and one more probably. And then I'm going to reconfigure the whole panel. I'll explain these over here. Got a multifunction switch here. A double on off auto switch here. And a relay card right there which has two relays on it. Also notice that the march time card is a timed march time card instead of a standard march time card. That has an integrated timer on it. I believe it could have been used for a two-stage alarm setup. But this one I have, uh, I'll explain that in a second. This switch right here is for cross-zoning. And uh, go through the alarms. Uh, on the left is a Wheelock 7002T Halon alarm, which is kind of off Center, it's not exactly, there we go, getting nice and lined up there. I have a Wheelock 34T-24-WS and the uh, V33 that I had from the previous system test. The V33 is connected to the same uh, NAC, the NAC that is used for audible silence. The horn on the Wheelock 34T24.WS is connected to the horn NAC. The strobe is connected to the alarm relay. And I'll explain what the Helon alarm is connected to. It's connected to one of the relays in here. When you flip the cross zone, switch up, one of the zones will activate one of the relays in there. Another one of the zones, it does some funky thing in there. I forgot exactly how I had it set up, but having both those zones in there would activate both the relays, which would then set that off. It would start the timer in there. I have it configured to 30 seconds, give or take. And you'll notice that this red light right here is going to come on, the lower red light. The upper one doesn't do anything except uh, throw the panel in trouble if I flip it. The lower one, the red light will come on, even though it's in auto. I believe those switches were used for ventilation fans. And that was, was their intention. Now, for the future configuration, I'll give you a little inside scoop on what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be adding an OPSP card, a city tie card, adding two more zones, two more signal circuits, and reconfiguring the coding slot so I can have any of these cards in the slot obviously only one at a time but they'll all be compatible in the same slot well that switches up i'm going to go ahead and uh activate the system don't mind the finger Anyway, the uh, Halon alarm does not go off because there's only one zone activated. However, I'm going to use this nice handy dandy screwdriver here and activate the smoke detector. And that will cause the system to re-alarm and also set off the Halon alarm. Now you notice that the Halon alarm did not silence when I silenced the system. system needs to be reset for that to turn off. 
And even if you silence the system, the countdown will still continue to count down. Anyway, that was this system test. Um, I do not have any type of output on the pendle at the moment for the uh, what the red light's connected to, and I don't believe I'll ever have an output for that because I'll be reconfiguring the panel shortly. Thanks for watching. This is the Blue CFL, and I'll see you next week.